defining a subscript is done using the subscript keyword then we spe specify one or more input parameters each one of the input parameters has a name and a type then using an error we specify the type of the returned value now once a subscript was defined we can treat an object as if it was an array and once we do it the value we pass over indirectly invokes the subscript here in this code sample we actually invoke the subscript passing over 6 the return value is uh, 6 multiplied by 12 so the expression that its value will be printed out to the screen is 72 now let's uh, execute this code sample and the output is 72 just as expected